pen and paper have some advantages, but some real disadvantages. And trying to bring a computer to the shoot side has some advantages, but some real disadvantages. And, and with the advent of, of phone technology and apps, that's really provided us maybe the best opportunity to marry those two things. In that by collecting pregnancy um, data at the shoot, when we're collecting uh, whether the cows are pregnant, how far along in pregnancy they are, their body condition, their age, any other descriptor we want to use, we can collect that data shoot side with a phone app, and we've programmed the app so it can do most of the analytics that you'll want done with that data right there while you're still collecting uh, information with the cows. The only information that's required for the app to work is a breeding season start date, a breeding season end date, and how many days the veterinarian thinks the pregnancy is along you. Know, so this is pregnancy about 90 days or 95 days, that, that type of information. That's the only information that's required. Now, you get better information back if you provide a little bit more information, such as individual cow ID, her body condition score, her age, and by age, I mean age category, heifer, first calf heifer, aged cow. Uh, if you include that type of information, then as you get the information back, you can break it down and look at it by those different age categories or body condition score categories. And you get a lot more information if you put more in. But the app actually works pretty well even without individual cow ID. If I just put in every cow's um, length of gestation, I can, I can print up uh, a pretty good report on how that herd is doing. One of the things that we really wanted to get from the app is some real uh, field data and, and the variety of of situations that, that ranchers and veterinarians run into as far as uh, you know, length of breeding season, how successfully the breeding season is going. And so one of the things that we ask is if people are willing, we have a checkbox, they can uh, share their data with BCI. And by sharing their data, they are only sharing the data about the cows, such as the days that the number of days they're pregnant, their body condition. We are not collecting information about the producer just about the cows. Mm -hmm. um, and so if they're willing to share that with us, we think that has a lot of value back to the industry. You can go to the BCI website and you'll be directed to where you can find the, the apps. And it has some additional information there if you want a little bit more information about how, how to use the app.